Okay, when last we spoke, I put in the solar panels. Ran it down and I put this under Velcro, but as you can see already, that didn't work out. So, before I dr drill a big hole in my roof and run the cables inside, I went and I purchased these uh, supposed to be super adhesive. People have used them for solar panels, according to the Amazon reviews. They're little square, hopefully super adhesive. Things that you can put a tie through, a, a zip tie. Um, if you can see that well enough. Pull the sticker up the back. And as usual, stick them on. Press hard for a while, and we'll see how this works out. And I'll come back. I think when I'm all done, got it run down, I'll show you how this looks. Okay, now I, I got five of the little adhesive squares in place on the fiberglass portion of the trailer. Um, what I've done is I've alternated. Two zip ties, 50 pounds each, so barring any uh, synergy I don't know about, this should um, hold 100 pounds or more, which uh, isn't really a potential problem anyways, but I figured if one tore out, then I'd have a second one. Uh, mostly it's just the adhesive. I am not going to screw these on to the fiberglass using those little holes. Um, I think drilling through the roof is probably a better idea at that point. Um, but I left a little, I didn't super zip tie them down. I left a little bit of movement, you can move in either direction. But it really doesn't move that much when you're driving. The only thing I did, I removed the Velcro and then towed it here to my land. And the only thing that I saw was this cable, cable here went around the side. So I pulled over, put a zip tie on it very loosely, just enough to hold it, and it was fine and then removed. So I don't think, I'm hoping for the best. I think these little squares here, um, they were very, very, very sticky. You just never know with time what's going to happen. Uh, this, I chose white because this is in the sun, it gets super hot at, at times. Um, you just never know how something's going to stand up like that. But we'll hope for the best, and if I have to occasionally replace one, I guess that, that's probably a better option for me than drilling through the roof. Um, obviously, if the integrity of the wire, holding the wire onto the uh, trailer doesn't work out, and this isn't going to be a long-term option, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, that Velcro just uh, shriveled up, baked in the heat, shriveled up. I towed the trailer about 3,200 miles down to Florida and back, and um, that didn't work out. And I think I got a piece of that left at the house. If I do, then I'll take a photo of that and put it at the beginning of the video to show you what happened. Well, luckily it came off, um, goo gone, a lot of elbow grease, and looks pretty good. So, all right, take care, and um, I guess I'll have an update in some, at some point if this doesn't work out, or if uh, they, the little squares pop off left and right, then I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But down here I just put three on the metal frame, it's pretty much out of sight. I figured that would give it a good hold. So, uh, well, thank you, and um, well, hopefully you get something out of this. If you want to do this, rather than drill through your roof and drill through your cabinetry, etc., to get a wire down, um, this may be an option for you. All right, take care for now.